In this video we will now transfer in the data that we submitted from our device in the field to the server. Now we're going to retrieve that back into the desktop. And so if you recall from the diagram here how that data flow works is that it's basically three points. So we're in the field, submitted the data, it's now up at the server level. We now have to go back to the desktop to pull that data in. And this information is described in the manual in phase four, back at your desktop running streets, page 41, if you're interested in following along there. So I have my streets project open. I will select tools, work with mobile. And this time we will toggle on retrieve project data. And this is where you enter in the password, select next. And what you will see is in the streets mobile manager, a list of the records that were submitted. So I only have one record here for this demonstration project, but if you have many people working in a field or you don't retrieve data frequently, you could have many records here. It's a good idea to look at this a little bit more carefully before just checking this off and finishing it over. One of the things I suggest people do is to look at the record number to make sure that coincides with actual data that was collected. So if you have crews out there and they said, I collected 65 trees today, do the records on the streets mobile manager match up with that? If not, well, then we have to investigate why. One of the other things I advise people to do also is to look for duplicate submissions. Now, how would that look? What you would see is the same timestamp here and the same amount of records submitted. This might happen if somebody inadvertently keeps pressing the submit button, say in a rural area or a mountainous area. This is where I tend to see that issue come into play. And what happens is it seems to have produced multiple submissions. It's hard to duplicate, but I can show you what that looks like, at least on the server side. So here again, this is just a list of records from a streets project that's actually currently going on. And you can see the number of records, but notice here, the second and third one, same date, same exact timestamp and same number of records. So that indicates to me a red flag, potentially duplicate records were somehow submitted. And this is a project in Idaho and that's what it turned out to be. So if you ever do see an instance where you do have duplicate submissions, you only want to check one set to retrieve and you'll have to let us know and we can actually change the setting to remove that duplicate submission so it doesn't appear the next time you go to retrieve your records. And you can contact us at support to help you out with that. So I have this checked and I will go ahead and just click finish and it tells me that it successfully transferred in 10 records. It does an automatic save. What I suggest you do is go in and verify. Although it said those records transferred, let's see if there are any issues. And you can simply do that by selecting input records. And this shows you all the tree records or planting site records that we collected out in the field. And if there are any problems, any missing data, what you would see is a red exclamation point. This looks much longer because it has all the data fields that are available in streets, even though we're not using them. So you see things like the pest data fields, which aren't actually toggled on. The other thing you can do while you have this open is verify your DBHs. In this case, I was entering in ranges. You can sort these by clicking on the top. If you're actually entering in DBH values, this is where you might be able to find out that somebody inadvertently entered in a 105 inch apple tree as opposed to 10.5 and streets won't catch that for you. It doesn't have that kind of logic. So that's something that you can simply do by just going into the records field and toggling on these various columns to see that all your information looks correct. If it doesn't, if there was an error, say this honey locust, it wasn't six to 12, we can select it and update it by clicking on the edit button. And then we have access to the records here. So we can go in and modify these here. Say this was actually 12 to 18. And then select OK, file save project to update that record. So that's the process for transferring your data from the field to a server and back into your streets project and quickly 
checking and verifying your data for any problems. In the next section, we'll talk about how to update your configuration in case you have to make changes.